begin. Howdy, Tinker Nerds. If you're a longtime watcher of the show, then you probably already know what this thing is. If not, here's a couple of episodes that you can watch to get you caught up on the Raspberry Pi phenomenon. <laughs> phenomenon. <laughs> so what else can you do with this little $35 credit card size computer to impress your friends? Two words. Retro Arcade. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Raspberry Pi arcade emulator. There's a lot to do, so let's get started. First off, here's what you're going to need. A Raspberry Pi, a Raspberry Pi compatible Wi-Fi adapter, an Ethernet cable, an SD card, a powered USB hub, a mouse, a keyboard, and an HDMI compatible monitor. Optionally, you can also get some USB joystick controllers and an arcade cabinet housing. Normally, in order to get all of this working, you would have to install the Raspbian operating system, drivers, emulation software, audio software, and menu software. But thanks to the helpful minds over the Shea Silverman blog, they've created a single installation for all of this called PyMame, which you can download here. Just download it and burn it to your SD card. In Windows, you can use the Win32 disk imager to burn it to an SD card. And in a Mac, you can use this simple command to burn it. For more information on these techniques, feel free to visit the Tinkernut wiki at the link below. When your SD card is ready, go ahead and put it in your Raspberry Pi with your keyboard, mouse, hub, monitor, and ethernet cable already connected. Now, all you have to do is boot it up. It should boot straight to the menu with the test game already in it so you can see if everything works. If you're happy with it as is, then you're done. But if you want to tweak it more and add some games, we need to get to the command line. To do this, first exit out of your game by hitting escape on the keyboard and then hit escape again to exit out of the menu. The first thing that would be nice to do is to enable Wi-Fi. So to do this, the easiest way is to launch the GUI by typing start X. Then you should see a Wi-Fi shortcut on the desktop. Just enable your Wi-Fi and then scan the network for your connection. If you want to connect later on via SSH, you can log out and type ifconfig to find your IP address. So the next step is to make this look more like an arcade cabinet. And this will require monetary investment, but how much of an investment depends on what you're wanting it to look like. You can get a good cheap set of joystick and button controllers from here for around $27. And as for the cabinet, you can buy a kit for around $200 to $500, or you could just get creative and make your own. But no matter what you choose, here's the basics of how to get it working. The joysticks and buttons should have instructions included for how to connect them to the baseboard, which will then connect to the Raspberry Pi via the powered USB hub. From the command line, type this to access the menu options. Jump down to where it says device underscore joystick and set it to auto instead of none. Then hit Control X, Y for yes, and enter to save and exit. Once you reboot the Pi, you should now have joystick functionality, and you can test this out by starting a game and just seeing if it works. If it doesn't work, you may need to remap your joystick and the buttons. To do this while you're in the game, hit the tab key on your keyboard. This will bring up calibration options where you can choose the joystick input and remap the game options to match your joystick and your buttons. You can find more details about setup and troubleshooting at the wiki link below. The game that you're playing is called a ROM, and if you want more ROMs, you can search the web for places to download them. But for legal reasons, I can't show you how to do that. But if you are able to find one, here's how you can install it on the Raspberry Pi. Exit out of everything to get back to the command line, and then navigate to the ROMs folder. Type sudo wget and then the URL of the ROM that you wish to download. And that's it. The ROM should already be in a zip file, and you want to keep it like that because this is how the console reads it. If you want the games to display vertical on your monitor instead of horizontal, type this and then scroll down to where it says display underscore ROL or display underscore ROR. ROL is to rotate the image left on your screen, and ROR is to rotate it right. Just change the value to yes for whichever option you choose. 
If you're building a cocktail tabletop MAME arcade cabinet, then you can add this code to flip the screen using an assign button. Now just save and exit out of this. If you want to rotate the menu, type this and then add the following line. Now just save and exit out of this too. After rebooting the device, your arcade machine is now ready to be mounted in the cabinet. Now this part mainly relies on personal preference and should be pretty self-explanatory. If you're able to get your own Raspberry Pi arcade machine up and running, please share the video with me so I can see how it turned out. Now again, if you want more information on this build, please visit the Tinkernut Wiki at the link below. For more tutorials, please visit my website at tinkernut.com or my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash gigafied. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Until next time, hack some fun into your weekend.